What is going on guys? Back with another video. Today I'm with my boy Dakota. So let me walk back to my car. So the main thing why I'm here is because my car. So a little backstory. Um, I don't know man. Sometimes you kind of have nice things. But basically what happened was, uh, you know, over the weekends I went to a party. My boy Marco invited me along and stuff. Um, you know, parties are fun and stuff. But a little mishap happened. Um, you know, a drunk friend uh, sat on my hood. She thought it was her car for some reason, so she sat on my hood and scratched my carbon fiber hood. So, oh well. Let me show you guys the damage. Um, it is pretty bad. I mean, Dakota does detailing for a living, and he was telling me you do. You can judge how bad it is by the, I guess, the thumbnail rule. Yeah, so it, here's basically what it is. A quick rundown. If your thumbnail or any nail, I'm not, you know, judging catches on the scratch like you go like that and it catches um, that means the clear coat is basically gone and it's just oh. a divot so what I can probably I can probably get like 90% of this out but we're gonna see I'm gonna try not to wet sand it so it's all smooth but we'll see what happens okay. and worst case scenario I mean re clear coat but it's not the end of the world it didn't scratch the carbon fibers so that's good okay so okay so Dakota will see what he can do with detailing so detailing like you say can help to a certain extent um, you know just for the surface scratches, but if it's deeper than the thumbnail, if you you know put your thumb over or any nail over and you feel it catch in the paint, then you know it's pretty deep. So right now he's gonna get to uh, buffing it out. So he's gonna use one of these, uh, I guess, uh, electric yeah. buffers. This is a, uh, it's called a orbital polisher. So we have there's buffers and polishers. So this one basically, instead of spinning in a circle, it just vibrates in place. The reason it does that is because it has less of a chance of burning the paint. Okay. So it's a lot better to use. I'm also using a stupid soft pad just so you don't have any issues. And I'm using a very, very, very light cutting compound. So, so these like, like polish, methods yeah. uh, work for, is it any paint, carbon fiber wrap, or is it different products? Probably only for paint. I wouldn't okay. pol I wouldn't like buff or polish a uh, wrapped or dipped car or anything like that just because okay. it's probably going to catch it and <laughs> you know? <laughs> so this is basically just for paint. Anything uh, with clear coat on it, basically? Yeah, basically anything with clear coat on okay. it. Okay, so carbon fiber works fine as well. So the coat is going to get to doing that. You guys can tell it's the daytime. This is the next day after my buddy Dakota helped me to uh, buff down and polish my hood. So I just wanted to wait till there is some light to show you guys. Dakota tried his best, you know, without cutting into the compound. So it's kind of hard to see on camera uh, right there. But you can actually still see the scratch marks. Some of you guys might think like, oh, it's a small scratch, no biggie. Um, but it's pretty obvious, especially since I bring my car to a lot of car meets and car shows. It's obvious. Um, plus, it's carbon fiber. This is my expensive carbon fiber hood that I got. It really pains me to see it like that. So next best thing to do is I had to get it re-clear coated, meaning getting the hood, uh, you know, clear coated over again. So basically clear coat is like a transparent layer of, I guess you want to call it like a coating. Um, so yeah, they'll protect it from, you know, the UV rays, protect it from scratches and all that good stuff. So uh, I was at Guicho's shop earlier, so I got some of my car parts painted at Guicho's shop a while back. So I hit them up again. So I'll be dropping off my car in a few days to get my hood re-clear coated. Um, I wasn't sure if I could just do a portion or get the entire hood, but they say I had to get the entire hood re-clear coated. So that's what I'm doing. Also, there's a small little surprise. While I'm there, I decided to get them to help me to install another car part. I believe I am the first uh, Lancer owner to do this. Uh, really custom stuff. So let me just show you guys what I have in the trunk. Here's a clue, it's carbon fiber. So in this box contains my new carbon fiber part. Let me just go ahead and take it out and show you guys what's in here. All right guys, so there it is, carbon fiber. So by looking at it like that, some of you guys might be able to guess. So yes, this is a carbon fiber duck bill. So basically, let me show you guys where it's gonna go. It's gonna go right on top of my trunk. So it's kind of hard to see right now, but this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna go right above my trunk. Um, drilling will be needed. So I know some of you guys are wondering, I already have this wing on it, you know, 
why am I putting an additional duck bill or am I going to remove that wing and add the duck bill? So, like I said, it's going to be something really custom. I haven't actually seen anybody do it. Uh, but basically, I'm going to have this duck bill on the car, on the trunk, with that wing. So I'm going to get it molded on. So it's going to be really unique. Uh, again, nobody here in Texas has it like that, uh, to my knowledge. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, some fab work has to be done to make this duck bill fit. So the body shop I'm taking it to is Guichos. They'll be cutting out chunks from here to you know get it flush just because the duck bill extends all the way to the edge. So like I say, I am no master or pro at doing all these body shop fab work. So definitely I trust the body shop with my car. Uh, they painted my wing a while back. They painted Marco's wing, painted Marco's white body. So uh, I'm gonna go back to them. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just wait a couple days whenever I drop the car off at the shop. I'm just gonna take you guys along. There's some really cool cars. I was there earlier um, Just to speak to the owners and actually I saw a couple cool cars. There is a R32 GTR with the R34 front end being put on. There's a 280Z Datsun as well as a RX-7 that they're working on. So some pretty cool cars. Alright, what is going on guys? So today I'll be picking up my car. A few days ago, I dropped it off at Guicho's Body Shop. Uh, I didn't actually get to film because I didn't bring the camera. Uh, but your boy is feeling a little sick today. So, uh, pardon me if my facial expression looks kind of like gloomy and stuff. But yeah, my boy Marco. Big thanks to him. He, uh, Whenever I dropped my car off, you know, I needed a car to pick me up, send me home. He was there and then today, whenever I'm dropping my car off, he's here again today. So, you guys might have noticed something different about the car and that is these headlights so same headlights but um, for as long as I knew Marco pretty much the headlights were like in the uh, neochrome wrap so it really stood out a lot so right before you know this car show season Marco decided to take it off so yeah really really different look right now I'm sorry that too. So just reach over here at Guichos and again like I said Marco's 370Z is over there and any of you guys in the Austin area want to get some body work done, paint, all that stuff, check out Guichos. Yeah so Marco got quite a few stuff painted here as well as myself. Um, Marco's white body was painted here and my wing was painted here, his wing was painted here so they do a good job. So I didn't quite tell you guys why I'm here but um, you know a few days back you know, whenever the scratches were on the hood, I brought it to the Dakota and you guys saw he tried to buff it out and polish it, but it didn't quite work. So it needed to be really clear coated. So that's why I brought it here to Guichos to get that done. Also, while I'm here, I decided to get some other, you know, custom work done. So let me show you guys. Dang, this looks so nice. Okay. So, as you can see, my wing is gone. Not for long, but look at this carbon fiber duck bill now. Oh, looking so nice. So, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below you like it or you don't like it. Do you like the wing more or do you like the duck bill more? But that's not all. There's another surprise for you guys in a little bit. Here, uh, basically Eddie was showing me that the clear coat has been done. So it looks much better now. Uh, only thing was, you know, one of the part is kind of deep, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it right there. So it's pretty deep, so that's the best it could do without, you know, painting over it in black. So yeah, all in all, pretty much done. Looks way better. Like I said, just that mini scratch. Um, not, nothing much can be done. Uh, he's going to go ahead and set it down again in a little bit. And you know, everything should be done on the hood. Looks way better than before. That's what I came here for. And then also the duck bill. Looks so nice, so that's a surprise for you guys. Um, I am not gonna rock just a duck bill, so you guys will stay tuned and see. Uh, they're getting something else painted to be put on it, so I'm really stoked as well. And while I'm here, let me just show you guys ooh, another car that they're working on. The RX7 is so nice. Right, just check out this FD RX7, so nice. So when I came here a few days back, the whole car was pretty much bare bones. The wing has just been put on, um, white body just been put on, doors just been put on hood just been put on so a bunch of stuff um they're still getting to painting the front bumper right now but this thing looks so mean so nice so yeah love the fdrx7 
Um, still has a 13B rotary engine in there, so looks really clean. Over here they move out the car, so I saw this a few days back too, this is the R32 GTR. Um, but the interesting thing is this car will have a pretty much a full, so you can see the R32 GTR tail lights. It's going to have a full um, R34 front end swap. So it's, as you can tell, still a work in progress. Still have the uh, original RB26 in there. And over here we have a WRX that's going to be worked on. So uh, I think the owner told me a while back he got in the wreck. So quite a lot of stuff going to be done. Some over fenders. Um, you know, a bunch of body work. The cool thing is these exhaust tips on the WRX is actually off R35 GTR. So R35 GTR tips. Uh, this whole back quarter panel is pretty much custom. Much wider as you can tell. Some uh, T37s, Foot Racing T37 SLs are going on. So it's gonna look really dope when it's done. Um, but right now, the uh, oh, he's gonna show some parts that's going on the GTR. Yeah, all four of these, bro. Brand new. Alright. Huge. Big brake package or what? You'll see right now, bro. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? These brake loaders are crazy. Oh, big Rambo brake kit. That's a brand boat. Going on here. In the paint booth right now. It's still wet. So all this before were like oh, you gotta keep it black. Long fiber. So right now, yeah, it's just gonna be black. Yeah, it's still wet. So that the copper fiber sends out a little more. I thought I was going to get the car back, but not today. So he said tomorrow because we check on the paint and the paint is not quite dry on the wing yet. They painted it black. So I'll come back tomorrow. But uh, the boy Marco is going to drive me home right now. And I'll have to get a ride tomorrow to Guicho's Body Shop. All right. So the day has come. I'm just going to go to Guicho's Body Shop to pick up my car. Uh, so the car is almost done. But it's always hard getting a ride, so I don't like to rely on people. So right now I'm just gonna head down to the shop to pick up my Lancer GT. And my girl is gonna drive me there. Just made it here at the Guijo shop. Again, big thanks to my girl for dropping me off. And right now I'm not sure if the car's ready yet, uh, but since I needed a ride, I had to you know follow her schedule. Uh, yeah, let's check out if the car's ready. And the car is looking clean. So like I said, the clear coat has been done on the hood, so it looks much better. And oh, look at this! I should be the first. The wing and the duck wheel looks so nice. Man, I want to say a big thank you to the guys over here at Guichos. They also washed out my car. So talk about going off the way to please. Car was a little dusty yesterday, but it's all washed down right now. Looks so nice. I mean, a little wet, but you know. Let me let me know what you guys think about the wing and the duck wheel. I think it looks super cool. Yesterday, checking out the car, RX-7 is back in the shop. This thing's looking so clean. So check it out. We have the uh, Ari Amamiya front bumper, not painted yet. 
but the hood from the front it really does look like a viper so aggressive and then the headlights instead of the flip up headlights they also change it to the flat ones the Amamiya style so it looks so aggressive so it's just mocking it up right now to show me how it's gonna look a uh, big shout out to Guichos for working on my Mitsubishi Lancer GT so <clears throat> quick recap what I got done I'm back home right now they went ahead and uh, you know pretty much took out the scratches from the hood it's just dirt right here clear coated the whole hood carbon fiber is looking so good and we also got this custom thing done so that little duck bill over there carbon fiber duck bill yeah and then like I said they also went the extra mile to wash down my entire car and wipe it down and car looks squeaky clean right now you can see like the purple flakes pop in the sunlight so big shout out to Guichos big thank you um, yeah leave a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more mods on this car as car show season comes around catch you guys in the next video